Baby, love the only thing to light it up to love you To love you Keep running my way I keep fighting for me I'm nothing without you I'm nothing without you Alright guys, just got to Galesville uh, Wharf That's the porta potty This is a small parking lot you can park at Just gonna walk on over here I'm just using my Doc Demon on lugworms and my Chesapeake Sabiki. I'm just gonna get some spot, use it as bait at other locations. Ooh, we're on, we're on. Small spot. I'm gonna try fish over this boat right here. See if thing likes to hide over here. Oh, snags. That's dangerous. Nibbles, nibbles. I think we're on here. Yeah, we are. Another spot. Right, let's bring them back over. Always gotta find structure and shade, guys. I just put on new bait. I think it was slow because I had an opiate on, but also it's super hot out, so very low tide too after, there we go. Oh, nipples, I think we're on. Very low tide. It's a low tide, and then it's after the full moon too, so the extra low. No more pressure from the moon, so the water goes down more. A fresh bait, they like that. I'm gonna use these guys as bait. All right, let's try that again over here. On the other end of it. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's he going? Another spot. We're on something here. Oh, spot. Yeah, I'm basically just gonna flay these guys up when I get home freeze them, vacuum seal them, then try to get bluefish or rockfish, stingray, trout, whatever bites them. All right, let's try next to the boat. Nibble, nibble, we're on. Yeah, nice. This one's a good size. Gonna get more bait here. Yeah, I don't know why people hate on lugworms. They work well. And people say, oh, they die easily. I don't, I've been keeping this for like over a week now. They say keep it at between 45 to 50 degrees. Last five minutes for the worms to, uh, to awaken. But yeah, they're still fairly lively after like a week and a half. In the, in the fridge. Uh, make sure you just don't put it at the bottom of the fridge because you know cold air sinks so I put it at the top and uh, yeah they've been working well for me and they're cheaper than lugworms. Oh, I think I have something on here but it's stuck. There we go. came off. This boat got pushed in because of the wind. Yeah I'm landing fish regardless though. No problem. You ever wonder how these sailboats are docked? Like, they leave it here. How do they get to land? I guess they probably have like one of these small boats that they can kayak or paddle out with. Got something here. Oh man, he's grinding against the piling. Alrighty. All right, let's try underneath this side again. Look at these guys, I just noticed the piling is literally like rotten and broken. Yeah, there's like bugs eating, eating out of it. It's making holes from it. GoPro is overheating. It's turning off by itself, so I have to check if it's running or not. It's annoying. Let's 
try this side. I know this uh, wharf, you can catch like white perch. A lot of people crab here as well. But it's just not the right time right now. It's just too hot. Cast something on. Nope, he took my top hook. I don't show it on camera guys, but sometimes I jig my rod up and down too. So it tracks them because I'm using a speed key. It just flutters when you jig it. Just adds a little attraction, makes them a little bit more tempted to bite. Honestly, let me rebait this. All right, that's the last bit of bait I'm gonna use today. I have more, but it's just too hot. I gotta get into the AC. Just gonna jig it, jig it. Wait, slight, slight jig. You, just want, you don't wanna scare them off. Let's recast it underneath the pier a little bit more. There we go, we're on. Oh man, this one's a big one, he was fighting. All right, let's try that again. So I don't wanna touch this boat. Something was on here. Oh, nibbles, nibbles, we're on. Nice. Oh no, he got off, come on. I need these fish. There we go, there we go, we're on back. We're back on. No worries. One comes off, one comes back on. Just gonna show you guys around a little bit before I head out. So all the regulations and whatnot. There we go, docking limit to four hours of no overnight docking. I guess if you really wanted to, you can launch a kayak from here too. Trash cans. Oh, here we go. All right, let's quickly go over how to get here. All you do is put in Galesville Wharf, and then the pier's right here, like you saw in the video. Parking is very limited. It's like, what, four or five slots or parking uh, spaces. So that's about it. Hopefully that helps. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next video. Remember to smash that like button, give us a comment, and subscribe. Everything I use is under the description below, so check that out as well.